There's a very little known piece of technology that no one talks about that will help you 10x the return on investment from your email marketing. It's called a trigger link. Trigger link. In the old days, you sent emails with links in them, and at best, your email marketing software might tell you that 3% of people click that link. But I wouldn't tell you who they were or exactly when they clicked on them. Trigger links allow you to identify exactly who's clicking those links and when they're clicking on them so that you can instantly do other things like send them other emails, send them text messages, notify people in Slack, do whatever you need to to maximize the return on investment from those email marketing efforts. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now using High Level. This is a sponsored video by High Level. They have absolutely no say into the content here, which is good, but they do send me these water bottles from time to time, which help keep me lubricated while I'm talking to you. Now I'm going to dive into High Level and show you exactly how to set up trigger links so that we can get better return on investment from our email marketing. Let's go. So here we are logged into High Level. Now this is my demo white label version of High Level called Rockstar CRM. Uh, this is just a demo account I use for teaching and training purposes. If you're logged into High Level, it will look exactly the same except you'll have the high level logo here and it will be on the gohighlevel.com domain but other than that it will be exactly the same. So come down to our marketing section, come up to trigger links, click on links and then click the big blue add link button and I'm going to add a trigger link for my free PDF download that I'm going to give away on my website and then I'm going to paste the link in there of the PDF that I'm actually going to give away when I send emails out. This is the link I want people to click on to download the free PDF that I'm giving away. I'm then going to save that and I have a new trigger link in my list of links here called free PDF download. Now I'm going to show you in a automation workflow what I can do once somebody clicks on that link. Okay, now I'm in the automation section of High Level and I'm going to click on my Trigger Links demo, which is a workflow I've set up. And this workflow is triggered by someone filling in a form requesting the PDF on my website. Once they fill in that form, I send them an email with a link to download the thing they requested on my website. And in the email, I'm including a trigger link here. If I highlight that and click on the link, I've got my trigger link here. Where did that trigger link come from? Well, if I click on this lightning bolt here, it shows me the trigger links that I've got and it will just insert that trigger link. I've just copied that and pasted it into the URL there. Uh, I'll make a whole other video about how to set up more complicated workflows uh, with automations. But the point is, once I send that email with the trigger link in the email, I can then program High Level to wait until someone clicks that link or 24 hours. In other words, I'm giving the email recipient 24 hours to click that trigger link. If they don't click it, I'm going to advance them to the next stage of the workflow. But if they do click that link in the 24 hours, I can then add any of these actions into the workflow. I can update tags on their contact record. I can add a task for a team member. I can send them a follow-up email or an SMS. I can send a notification into Slack. I can send them a voicemail. I can send them a Facebook Messenger message, an Instagram DM. There is a multitude of actions that I can take here based on the fact that they've clicked that trigger link. I can send information off to a custom webhook or to a Google Sheet. I can add conditions into this workflow and segment them into different cohorts in my database. Really, your imagination is the only limit on what you can do once someone clicks on that trigger link. Now, prior to trigger links, there is no way you could have done this with straight up hyperlinks and emails. Well, you could have, but it would have taken a long time and required a lot of JavaScript and you probably would have had to hire a bunch of freelancers to make this happen. High Level now allows you to do this by just adding your links into the trigger link database and then using those trigger links in your email sequences. As I said, I'll make a whole other video on how to set up the email templates and how to program these automations. The purpose of this video was just to show you how to add your trigger links into high level. So just to recap, you come over to marketing here, you go to trigger links, click on links, and this is the list of trigger links that you have in the system. You just click on the big blue button to add a new one. And then once people start clicking on your links, you'll also be able to analyze how many people are clicking on these links so that you can get some feedback on the effectiveness of your email marketing. So if you're new to High Level, there are links in the description where you can sign up for a 30-day trial, get our free training and our snapshots. It's all totally free. Uh, we're doing this because we want you to get results out of High Level because we've seen how much it's impacted our business. Uh, we will make an affiliate commission if you continue to use High Level past the 30-day trial, of course. If you're already a High Level user, then just grab our training and our snapshots for free and have them as a gift. And if you are looking to grow your agency, there is a link in the description where you can schedule a call to chat with our team 
and we can help you grow your recurring revenue, grow your team, fix your processes, and help you become more profitable. I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.